Buenas noches, ladies and gents. Welcome back to Boy Sean with Blue Ridge. And uh, let's see, what are we going to talk about today? How about the brand new 2020 West Point Jefferson Nickel? Um, yeah, you guys have probably heard about it. It's, uh, you know, kind of like the one of the biggest topics of conversation, much like it was the same time last year when the 2019 West Point Lincoln Cent um, was made available through the purchase of the brand new proof set, the clad proof set for that respective year, 2019. We had the proof set uh, sales happen, I think March 1st. Uh, this year, the newest proof set is going to go live February 27th uh, at 12 noon Eastern. All right, so we got a page here from the U.S. Mint website. Uh, excuse me, I just just ate, so I, I might be a little bit weird right now. But um, the topic of conversation is going to be um, the sudden price increase from last year to this year uh, for the proof set. Okay, keeping in mind that in 2019, the U.S. Mint decided to throw in a nice little bonus, a 2019 West Point Lincoln set. As a matter of fact, here is the page for such. Um, and right, right off the bat, okay, you're going to see that we have a price of $27.95, all right, for this particular set with the free Lincoln set, all right. All packaged up, ready to go. It was a nice bonus. It was a pleasant surprise uh, by the U.S. Mint director saying that we are going to inject a lot of great, wonderful things into not only the products they sell, but into circulation, i.e. the 2019 West Point Quarter Program has been a rousing success. So they are looking to double down. 2020 with the addition first of all of the brand new 2020 west point jefferson nickel okay same narrative as last year they were gonna they are going to release this coin that you see on screen in proof form with the brand new proof set for 2020 but here's the thing they are charging four dollars and five cents more for this set okay so the real question is are they seriously jerking us around right now, the U.S. Mint is? Or is this price increase actually good for the hobby? We are going to kind of measure out the negatives and positives for the price change. Okay, even though we're getting what is quote-unquote perceived to be a bonus for this year's Mint set. Now, a couple general observations. Nothing's changed. Okay, you're still going to receive the requisite amount of coins expected for this set that's compared favorably with the last however many years that they've done this set. Okay, again, the extra is the 2020 West Point Jefferson Nickel, but you are still going to receive the 2020 Lincoln set. These are all San Francisco coins, by the way, proof coins. You're going to receive the Nickel, Roosevelt Dime, Je uh, Candy Half Dollar, and then the Native American dollar as well will be included, along with the five National Park quarters for 2020. Which, by the way, I'm telling you guys again that this is the last year of this uh, program. All right. So, with that being said, all the coins are the same. The only other substantial difference, aside from the four dollar and five cent price increase, is in how they are going to package up the 2020 West Point. Jefferson Nickel. Now, as you guys know, last year when they did the Lincoln Cent, they had the coin in a uh, Mylar baggie, and then that little baggie went in to the um, uh, little envelope, okay? And then that's how they distributed the coin in conjunction with the proof set. They were doing something a little bit different because of the um, the backlash. Why were there? Why would why would there be a backlash for a free coin? I, it just doesn't make any sense. It, it's kind of stupid in hindsight. But um, this year, due to popular demand, they are putting this coin in a little bit more rigid poly 
bag material. Uh, they call it the U.S. Mint plastic uh, encapsulation. It's not a hard plastic. It's more rigid, kind of like um, older proof or mint sets that we've seen before. All right, so they are going to be doing that same thing with this coin in the hopes that it will help cure whatever possible shipping issues that you'll come across with this coin. All right, so is the $4.05 price justified? The timing seems awfully auspicious, very suspicious, and any other vicious name you could possibly ever throw at this. We have a new coin that they're throwing in as bonus, and then all of a sudden there's a $4 price increase. When last year, they didn't increase it at all. 2018, still the same price with no bonus coin. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, if the U.S. Mint was not providing or giving away any freebie coins, we would just say, oh, it, it's inflation, right? Products, materials, they get more expensive. It costs more to mint the coins, for crying out loud. So, you know, the price is justified. But with the freebie coins, we went from the 2019 West Point Lincoln set that everybody seemed to love in spite of its warts, all right, to now a 2020 release with the nickel. And then all of a sudden we're seeing a $4 price increase uh, across the board, okay, for not only this, but also we're going to see a price increase with the upcoming silver proof set, which will be released a few months later, and then the subsequent mint release, the business strike uncirculated coin set, uh, which a lot of folks are looking forward to. So, the number one question, how does this affect you? Does this make it worth it to buy this set? And second of all, what are the ramifications of hiking the price up $4 for this proof set, which, by the way, the proof set has been a horrible sale for the U.S. Mint. Okay, prior to last year, the, the U.S. Mint figures were abysmal. Okay, and we can actually go back to about 2010, all right, where the production figures and all that stuff was actually a lot less than what we are dealing with now. So this was not a hot seller. So why the $4 increase? Well... It all comes down to the presentation and what you're receiving, all right? And um, they're springboarding off the popularity and the hype of the 2019 releases, all, okay? The, all of the West Point Lincoln sets, the 2019 West Point quarters, which, by the way, you guys didn't really have to pay anything for. You just had to go to the bank and get it. You weren't, in theory, paying the U.S. Mint to own those coins, um, among a few other things, the 2019S Enhanced Reverse Silver Eagle, in which there was only like 30,000 pieces produced, all right? So they're kind of like capitalizing on the success of all of the events from 2019 for coins and the product. So what are the negatives? Well, it's obvious. It's more money. What if you're the type of person that actually goes out and purchases, say, for example, 10 of these because you like to give them out as gifts or maybe you want to purchase 10 sets of these specifically for this nickel? Okay, that's fine. But does the nickel entirely make up the value or the difference, so to speak, of what the actual value of the proof set is compared to how much you're paying for it? Well, let's go ahead and examine the 2019 West Point Lincoln set from last year. Now, keeping in mind that this proof set, again, $28, all right, here's what the actual just Lincoln set all on its own is selling for. Now, this is an actual realized sale. This particular individual sold 328 of these, all right, between like $14.65 and $14.95. It depended how many you bought. But the coin in itself, without the proof set part of it, this guy was selling for $14, $15 a pop. Okay, so the rest of the proof set to him netted out to be worth about $14. So that's how I saw that. All right, so that seems like it's a pretty good deal. Now, do we anticipate the brand new 2020 West Point Jefferson Nickel to sell for more 
that what this Lincoln Cent is. Keeping in mind that the Lincoln Cent series in general is one of the most widely collected coins, not only in the U.S., but the world. All right, so the Jefferson Nickel is good, but they're not great like the Jeff like the Lincoln. So the Jefferson Nickel has a really strong following. Now, is it fifteen dollars strong for the secondary market for just that coin, or is it more, or is it less? It has to be more, right? Because you know they, they are asking for more dollars for this. So right off the bat, you're going to be spending four dollars more for every set that you buy. Again, keeping in mind there's no mintage limit; it is made on demand. Um, the product limit there is none. No household order limit. You can order five hundred of these things if you so choose. Um, so keeping in mind, you are going to be paying bomb, 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 four dollars a pop extra for every single set that you buy. All right, so that's the big negative. All right, so what about the positive? Could we possibly see a little bit of extra collectability from this coin because the price is a lot higher? Does that mean that there's going to be less of them that are going to be made? So let's go all the way back to the 2018 proof set, like you see here. This one sold out. You cannot order this one anymore. $28 a pop. Per the U.S. Mint website, production figures, they have sold a total of 517,081 total sets of to the 2018 proof set. For 2019, with that neat 2019 West Point Lincoln cent, up to this point, and keep in mind these figures are good up to January 12th of 2020, they update about, what, once a month? They have sold 561,495 total sets, making the mintage of this pretty neat 2019 West Point Lincoln Proof set, uh, coin to be 561,495 because it runs concurrently with the amount of sales of the proof sets. All right, because they don't make them for any other reason other than the proof set sales. To this day, it is still available for sale. All right, so what will that make the possible production figures to be for 2020? A higher price? Does that mean that people order less? Will that effectively make the 2020 West Point Jefferson Nickel kind of a rare key date in the proof set series? It might. I don't know. And that's the one caveat to this whole thing is like, yeah, they raised the price, but maybe to the benefit of the collectors. What if, for example, because the 2019 set rose by 10% from the previous year, what if in 2020 they experience a 20% dip because of the price increase? All right, then we're going to see possibly a production limit of about 400,000 pieces. All right, so that'll, in hindsight, make these coins more valuable in the long run. Pretty interesting, huh? So the price increase may not be a bad thing for a collector or a flipper, all right, as long as you kind of, like, stay on the tracks and actually hold on to this stuff for, like, 10 years. That's where you're going to see the value. I don't anticipate them remaking this after five years or every five years. This is a one-shot deal for 2020. And, uh, you know, that's just the way it's going to play. Assume that this is the only year that they're going to make these. Wow. So a price increase could be a good thing. And to a lot of people, it's a perceived bad thing. But as you guys can see, with the actual amount of money that the coins sell for all on its own, ungraded at $15 a piece. It's kind of hard to go wrong with ordering something like this. What if this coin you could sell on its own for $20 to $25 um, and experience a lower mintage limit because of less demand because the price is higher? Well, I don't know. It sounds like a pretty good deal to me. If you looked at the 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 one side in which this could be beneficial, then you could possibly make a lot of money. Not to mention that people are going to be sending these out to third-party graders like PCGS and NGC, hoping to pop that 
Proof 70 deep cameo, which I'm sure there's going to be a, a, a great amount of them that are probably going to sell for 500000 bucks a pop. Um, I mean, this is undeniably going to be a moneymaker, even at the extra $4.05 price difference from 2019. What do you say? Did I miss anything else? Or was this a pretty good, you know, kind of video outlining uh, what the benefits and the negatives are to a price increase on the U.S. Mint website? Again, you can't really toy with the pricing too much. All right. If they had increases to $32 without the Jefferson nickel, uh, no one would be buying these. I'll, I'll be absolutely honest. It is a product that they've been struggling with for years. All right. These, these things were a lot better sold item back in the sixties and seventies. And now all of a sudden, you know, it's, it's not as hot anymore, but the U S mint is trying to do something about it at the same time. They're capitalizing on the success of the 2019 West Point campaign on a lot of their coins. Now, let's see if it's going to pay off. I know I will be in for a few sets of these, and then when I do receive them, I'll break it on video for you. Uh, I'm curious to see what the quality will look like for these coins. I know for 2019, there's been some issues with scratches and, you know, kind of, I don't know, some, some weird spotting and all that going on with those coins. But pay attention to the market for these 2020 coins, all right? The 2019s are still available if you want to pick those up. I mean, at 561,000 pieces, it's a relatively low mintage coin, keeping in mind that also the silver mint set, proof set, and the business strike set, the U.S. mint set, is still available as well. Um, those are also great buys, but this this one's going to be interesting. February 27th, ladies and gentlemen, save the date. Um, buy at least one. At, le at least stamp your ticket to something that could be great, uh, among other things. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silverhound. You guys have a wonderful evening. Enjoy the hobby. And as always, Coinaholics, we are discovering together. Take care, and God bless you guys. Peace.